Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so those of you who saw yesterday's video, uh, some of you even commented in this comment section below, basically this exact same thing, but yes, there is going to be a part 2 of the full EZA team super battle road challenge, so yesterday we did extreme versus the extreme class stage and today we are doing the super version, so just like yesterday, uh, we only have the 80% leader skill from the Vegito Blue, uh, which is basically what makes this a challenge because the Super and Extreme Class stage can be fairly difficult, uh, even with a 120 lead. So one of the best ways to complete them nowadays is to use a category team, but we're using all EZA units. So let's go through the picks. So we got STL, we got Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I feel like this is a no brainer. He's one of the best defensive units in the game. Uh, he can stun. And then he will deal a ton more damage if the enemy is already stunned. Um, so we do have another stunner on the team to try and take advantage of that. Uh, he does also have over in a flash as his main key link. So he'll link really well with Vegito Blue. Um, then for tech, there's not a lot of really solid tech uh, units. Um, some of the newer ones are okay. Like the Vegeta is fairly middle of the road the Super Saiyan Vegeta that we got recently uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku is pretty good but he only really benefits from having other Super Saiyan 2 units on the team which we wouldn't have had so I decided to bring this guy uh, mainly for his support passive so he'll be floating off into the third spot um, buffing everybody else and then of course there is a second Vegeta family member because we have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta so he'll be getting a decent um, buff to his own stats as well so I thought he was a good choice for the tech then AGL <clears throat> I figure Super Vegito kind of has to be the best choice. Whilst he didn't get as impressive as an easy A as some other units, uh, you know, as long as he's not getting supered, he will tear through not taking lots of damage, getting counters. And then, of course, if we do drop below a certain amount of HP for his uh, the last part of his passive to activate, we can see super attacks on the rotation, which would be quite useful. Um, then we got Int. Int was a tough choice because for Int, there's pretty much this guy, um, the Goku Jr., uh, the GT Spirit Bomb Goku. So not a lot of top tier choices. Obviously on Global, we don't have the EZA for the Spirit Sword Trunks yet to go alongside the Merge Zamasu. Otherwise, I feel like he probably would have been the top choice. But I mean, this guy can deal pretty decent damage. Um, he doesn't have the best defense though, so he's probably going to be a third slot floating unit. And then we brought the it's this Super Saiyan Goku. He's really, really good. He has a great chance to stun on his super, which is like 70%. Um, and then he also has the built-in chance of performing crits, uh, depending on your health. If you're below 50%, it's a great chance to crit as well. So obviously gave him a ton of additional to try and take advantage of that and the stun chance so just on paper looking at the two teams because we have a couple of stunners and then we have like the counters from both the Vegitos I feel like this might be an easier run but then at the same time I, I feel like the super stage might be slightly harder because a lot of the fights have more enemies than the extreme ones but I guess we will have to wait and see so now that we've discussed the team let's go ahead and jump straight into the event Okay, so let's jump straight in here now. This uh, this one definitely has been as much of a challenge of, as the extreme one was. This is definitely not my first attempt. Um, hmm, don't have the best setup here. So what we need to do, I think, is we'll go for you. We'll go for the stun on freezer, which we really need to connect because. Uh, Getting Freezer stunned early on is definitely a huge advantage. And then I think, honestly, with this layout and the fact that we don't have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta for a couple of turns, we probably have to go ahead and use a Whis here. Because uh, super attacks, like even with a Whis active, like neutral typing super attacks on this run, you can still take well over like 150,000 damage. Which is uh, obviously not ideal when you only have about 300,000 HP. So, yep, yeah, there you go. 142k. Okay. But, let's see. At least we can get some crit counters. Maybe deal some bonus damage. We need to stun Freezer here. Okay, good. Additional super as well. Why not? 
Watch this be a double stun now that we don't need it. So You would not believe, so this Goku has a 70% chance to stun from his super. You would not believe the number of failed runs before this recording where he just would not stun, like at all. Um, look at that. See, even with a Whis active, the best damage mitigation item in the game, we nearly died on the first turn. So that just shows you how, uh, just how difficult this challenge really is. So I really need Vegito Blue to pop off and kill Sorbet here so he doesn't deal a ton of damage to Gohan. Hopefully Gohan can finish, uh, can land the finishing blow if needed. And then I guess I might as well keep him targeted because if, if he is alive with the tiniest sliver then Vegito Blue's first attack will finish him off. Hopefully he will be gone and then the Vegito Blue at the end will just retarget onto Freezer. Oh there you go, perfect. As long as we got a second super after that crit then I knew that we would be looking all good here. So, uh, And another super as well, okay. That's what we like to see. Of course we'll get a super but fortunately since Vegito Blue himself super attacked a couple of times, our defense was high enough to not take anywhere near the kind of damage we were taking from super attacks in turn one. But I mean, you can see, like, obviously the lower leader skill is what plays the part in it here, but the fact that we've used two items already, and uh, I guess to be fair, a big factor of that was the fact that we didn't have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta straight away, because his tanking is just phenomenal for this stage so uh, I think we need to do this because we can probably stun freezer because what I need to uh, this will take a little bit longer by doing it this way I think but we need to try and play safe so we do have the Android 8 active so stun freezer stun to goma hopefully and then take advantage of the type advantage here to deal damage to Sashimi in the final slot. Fortunately, considering we still have the Android 8 effect active this turn, like Vegeta's just not gonna take any damage. We get the stun on Frieza, which is perfect. Now we really need to stun Sorbet, just in case he supers. <sighs> Additional super, come on Goku. We need this stun, or oh, you're in trouble. Okay, good. Whew. Whew when that first one didn't super attack, I was horribly foreseeing a, uh, a super attack in our near future, but we are all good. And then no super on Vegito Blue means he can counter. Okay, well this puts us in a, uh, a much more favourable position, because now the only person alive is Sashimi. I might as well finish off Freezer for good with you. And then we'll target you. Just because Vegito Blue, I know he could potentially super attack multiple times, but he has type disadvantage over Sashimi. So we might as well just do some big damage to Frieza. Because hopefully we can actually finish off Frieza this turn. Um, one more super. Oh, damn. Okay, well. I think between the Vegeta and the Gohan. Oh, Vegeta gets a crit. I think he finished him off. Are we attacking Frieza? Yes, perfect. So Vegeta finished off Sashimi. So now Gohan can finish off Frieza. So now we only have Togoma left. We have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on rotation. So we are going to get out of this one. F I say fairly unscathed, but without having to use item number three, which is kind of the main thing that I wanted to go for here because uh, hopefully even if Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta doesn't get the stun, Vegito Blue can put out enough damage to finish him off and we get the stun anyway. Okay, good. So no matter what happens now, we are all good to move into the next phase. I almost don't want to finish Togoma off this turn because if we could go into the next turn, it means we can go into the next fight potentially with Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on the rotation and he's the best tank but unfortunately that was not the case and the next fight is tough because the next fight is the uh, Universe 6 team where Hit attacks multiple times, Kaba attacks multiple times and uh, it can be a huge pain in the neck so of course you only want attention now that I'm recording pickles. Right, so <laughs> I've obviously cut there. Hopefully uh, Pickles has calmed himself down now. My good old cat. I swear he just wants to be internet famous. So, right. We're into the first 
part of the fight. As you can see, I haven't taken any turns. No one's lost any health. Um, this is a tough one because we don't have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Uh, super attacks will absolutely destroy us in this turn. So I'm going to have to double up on items, which is not ideal. We're not super far away from the Dokkan attack. So I think basically what I have to do is um, just try and pick up as many same type orbs as we can for the whole of this, uh, for the first couple of turns at least, because we need to uh, get this Dokkan attack as quickly as possible. Because we're definitely going to take some damage in the next few turns. And then the Dokkan attack, if we can utilize that to get a free heal. So I've typed this advantage super attack straight away, perfect. <laughs> Still taking 68k with an Icarus and a Princess Snake active. It's not quite what you uh, expect to see. But fortunately, obviously, Super Vegito able to not really take any damage from normal attacks anyway. And unfortunately, our health wasn't at the point where we could see super attacks with his passive. Um, I think that's an interesting thing that they added to Super Vegito with his EZA. But I feel like the 40% HP is way too, like restricting of a well restriction I guess but like especially on this kind of team because we are running this challenge where our overall health and defense is so much lower than it should be I don't like you know I obviously don't want to drop to 40% HP because then we are in such serious danger of just immediately dying um, this is a good setup though so we managed to take out a hit first turn we still have the I might have to break rotation though, because I don't want to have to overuse items where we don't need to. But I don't want Botamo doing a ton of damage to Gohan at the end. And I feel like stunning Botamo just for that is kind of a waste. So we'll go ahead and do this. Try and stun you. This is the advantage, of course, of the fact that Vegito Blue gives um, four key with his leader skill. Because even with no key links, it means we only need to get four key. Although I say that, and now look, of course, we can't get a super attack for um, Vegito Blue. But hopefully, he'll just additional into some supers, so it won't be so bad. Uh, I guess I'll just drop this physical down, ready for the next turn. So the Icarus is still active. Obviously, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is not really going to take any damage. Hopefully, he can stun uh, Kabe here. Okay, of course not. Additional. Okay, normal. I feel like this is uh, these challenge runs. You definitely need the RNG to be going in your favour because uh, so much, so much bad stuff can happen. I think we all know on Super Battle Road as it is, and uh, yeah, we just really need to get some good RNG come our way. Look at here, Vegito Blue. As I talk about needing some good RNG, Vegito Blue getting a whole bunch of normal attacks. Finally, we get a super. And then at least he doesn't get supered. And a crit counter as well. Okay, okay. at least it tried to uh, prove me wrong at the end of the turn. By bringing it back a little bit. So, I guess we do this. Not break up this rotation. So, we're not going to get the Dokkan attack this turn either. Which is actually really unfortunate. Because I would rather like to... Just finish this phase off without using it. Now that everybody's health is getting so low. But it feels pretty clear that that's not going to be the case. So I need to protect you. And then we'll go ahead and do this for you. So we should Dokkan attack next turn. Uh, with Vegito Blue. Probably. Actually is Vegito Blue even going to be on the rotation now? Now that I've broken my rotation so much I'm not actually sure. Because, yeah, big problem with this team. We don't have one single, like, really big hard hitter who would be good to give the Dokkan attack to. Because, obviously, Vegito Blue does his damage by doing multiple attacks and counters. So, even if he gets the Dokkan attack, it's not going to be crazy damage. Another super? Okay, good. We, need, we really needed at least one more super just to raise that defense again. And then, yeah, okay. Crit counter? Okay, good. Get rid of you. And then no super from Frost. Yeah, so it's really unfortunate that we're going to get the Dokkan attack now because uh, no one's really low enough that it's going to be super worth it. So I think what we should do... Actually, if I target you, Vegeta's going to get a huge attack boost because he's stunned already. So actually, maybe this will be decent in terms of the damage dealt. 
So we'll grab this and then we'll grab these. Give us a little bit of an extra heal just to make sure we survive this turn. Because hopefully Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is going to get pretty much a wipe here. And then the following attacks. We might need to just finish off uh, the Zebra Tamo. Oh no, Miguel. Actually no, they're all low enough. I think we should be good. With that boost from the enemy already being stunned, he's at almost a 1.6 million attack stat. So, And the fact that he's got type advantage over Batamo, he's going to do huge damage to him. So it's like a guaranteed full heal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> everyone just gets taken out by Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Okay. That's good. I feel like even though we had to double stack, I don't think we used as many items as I originally thought. Do we have four left? If we have four left, we might be okay. Yeah, we do. Ooh. So, this is going to be the best way to do this as long as we don't get supered. If we get double super attacked in the first slot, that's going to be so bad. But if we don't get any supers in the first slot, like, Vegito's just not going to take any damage. So, what we'll do is we'll go for Zamasu with both of these guys. And then we'll go for the stun on Rosé. And now as long as we don't get supered twice in the first slot, <laughs> we should be good. So, come on, Super Vegito. I need you to uh, shine for me here. Crit counters is perfect. Obviously, him super attacking first helps as well, because it's a little bit of an attack buff for Vegito Blue. Okay, so here's the first super attack. 182,000, okay. So, if Zamasu actually does super, we just die. Again. Come on, RNG. No crit counters as well, that's a bit disappointing. Okay, he didn't super. So, if he supers, Vegito will be okay, because we've got type advantage. Uh, Vegito Blue. Double Vegito's on rotation makes it very confusing if I just say Vegito, but... Geo Blue, come on, yes. Give me these multiple supers. The quicker we take out one of these guys, the better we will be. Because obviously we have two stunners on the team. So if we can get down to only having one of these guys left. And then just keep hitting him with the multiple stuns. Then that leaves us in a very good position. Stunning Goku Black is massive here. Because <clears throat> yeah, look. All of Zamasu's attacks are in the first slot. So he can't really do any damage to us now. Um... In fact, I think it's probably better to keep you not supered. Uh, sort of not supered. To keep uh, Zamasu not stunned. Get a little bit of extra damage because he'll get that attack boost. But if we can just stun lock Rose from this point onwards. Um, Vegito Blue and then Gohan hopefully here can deal a huge amount of damage to... Um, yeah, double digits. That's what happens when you got the uh, Icarus still active on one of your best tanks. Let's go. Yes, okay, keep that stun train rolling. He's at least stunned for the next turn as well. Okay, we could be good here, boys. Now that That's why I'm saying the uh, at the beginning, this one is tricky because the first two fights have so many enemies. So just by having a couple of stunners on the team, you don't, like, set yourself up for an instant win. But here, as long as we can take out one of these guys really quickly, then it leaves us in a position to just stun lock the last person so let's let Vegito Blue go first because he should finish off um, Zamasu here with this attack so in fact yeah Zamasu will be finished off by the time this Vegeta at the back gets to attack so I don't actually need to use an item here at all and then next turn, I will probably, just for safety's sake, I might use an Icarus and, like, an Android 8. But it all depends. I guess, actually, next turn we're going to have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on rotation, aren't we? So it all depends where the attacks line up from Rosé. Because it might be one of those situations where I go ahead and use an item and then Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta just stuns him in the first slot anyway. So... We will see. Obviously, this Vegeta has type advantage, so nice little bit of damage there. Oh, we take that additional super attack as well. So the RNG kind of coming in clutch for us at the very end. So better than nothing, for sure. Um, okay, so. Like I say, if uh, 
Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta just stuns here with this attack, then obviously we're in a super good position. If he doesn't, it could be bad. So let's, yeah, let's Whis and let's Icarus and Android 8. Trust me when I say I have done this attempt so many times. I don't want to leave anything to chance because even if I just activate one of those two items and then this Goku at the end, like if Vegeta and Goku don't stun and then this Goku takes two normal attacks and a super, even with an Icarus active, we'd be dead. And with an Android 8 active, we'd be dead. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate both of them because... Uh, I would very much like this to be the final attempt at this stage. So, Vegeta, if you could just go ahead and stun straight away, put my mind at ease. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, Vegeta Blue, can you get some multiple supers here, build up your defense? Oh, I was saying the RNG was coming in good for us at the end here, but okay, good. Super. Come on. Crit as well. No crit on the counter. One more counter. Yeah, see, Rose still hasn't super attacked yet. So, I really need Goku to come through with the uh, with the stun here. Oh. Okay, dodge. Okay. Whew. So, no supers from uh, Rose that turn. We got very lucky. Now, we could definitely see a super coming this turn. But with the double items still active, I think we should just be all good here. Um, by the time it gets to Vegito Blue's attacks, yeah, okay, he's just going to super attack straight away, of course. See, so still 200,000 damage, and we have an Icarus and an Android 8 active. So, yeah, definitely a uh, challenging run. Double super is good as well, give us that attack buff. Vegito Blue should absolutely destroy Rose now. Unless, of course, he gets taken out by counters. Yeah, there you go. No crit needed. Takes him out with the counter attack. So, there you go. Whew. That was a tough one, but we finally managed to get it done. Um, like I said at the beginning when we were talking about the teams, I was kind of thinking that maybe this one would be a little bit easier. But definitely helped out when we got to the end and got the uh, stun train going on Rosé. And there you go. So that is the super class stage of Super Battle Road beaten with only easy A units, only with an 80% double leader skill. So definitely very challenging. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.